Hi guys, it's Aurora. I'm in my car in beautiful Encinitas, California. I wake up every day so thankful that we live here. I mean, just look at this view from the front of where I am right now from my car. So I'm in front of the, um, the meditation gardens here in Encinitas. Um, I spent some time there praying and meditating this morning and I'm actually gonna give you guys a tour of it um, right now and I'm gonna answer a question about meditation. So I'm answering questions that you guys have sent in after my show re-aired on Z Living. Um, it's called I Beat the Odds and I did a video last week on how you guys can view it either through your local listings or online. Um, so I love this question because it really shows you guys are digging deeper than just what's your diet, how do you exercise, what supplements do you take, all good questions, but we're not just physical, we're spiritual, we're emotional, we're mental beings, and we need to pour in and take care of all those areas of our life as well, and a lot of times they get ignored, and the other one, the physical part is what we pay attention to. So the question was, uh, what kind of meditation do you practice, and how do you feel it's benefited you with multiple sclerosis? So. It's had huge benefits. Um, first of all, mentally, um, you can do the, um, the research on how meditation will change your brain. It's incredible research, scientific research that's out there. And I do a lot of brain work. I do neurofeedback and a lot of neuroplasticity work. Let me tell you, it takes a lot of time and a lot of money. Meditation is free. You can do it any place, any time. There's no reason that we can't exercise that great gift of meditation. Um, also, a Spiritually, you know, it's my time with God. Um, there's a, a verse in the Bible that says, be still and know that I am God. And I love that because there's sometimes, yes, that God can speak through the noise to us, but we need to really be still and let him speak and just have that moment to give our bodies and our minds and our souls and our spirits that just quiet time. And so emotionally, I really feel like it centered me a lot. Um, if you haven't noticed maybe how, by how I speak or you haven't picked up on it, I'm like very hyper. I have a lot of energy. So I'm very like this. So it's really centered and calmed me down um, in a big way. So it's been a game changer for me. Um, health benefits are huge because when you're reducing your stress, which meditation does, um, you're reducing inflammation in your body, which is a root cause of all disease. You're helping out your emotions state, your spiritual state, all these impact disease. So the benefits are huge. Now, I understand that a lot of people, um, when they think of meditation, you know, you might have spiritual beliefs or um, personal beliefs, religious beliefs um, about it. And I definitely did. I remember being very against it like 10 or 15 years ago, not even knowing why. Um, I had actually just adopted things as my truth that I had been told to me when I was young without really looking into it or having my own view and that was kind of scary for me and so I really um, have worked on getting rid of a lot of that a lot of like false indoctrination indoctrination um, false doctrine I should say uh, and just brainwashing I, I dare say it was brainwashing in a lot of ways um, that I had when I was young and so uh, just finding my own truth you know and uh, with God as my guide has been amazing and uh, this has been one of the things and so Meditation is, is really um, a beautiful practice. So what kind of meditation do I practice? So um, first I started off with incorporating like more focusing on my breathing. And I did that because it was easy to bring in because it's something I do anyway in my daily life when I race and I'm at that moment that I just can't go on. Um, I have this pattern breathing I do that breaks me through that. If I'm stressed out or in anxiety, I have this breathing thing I do that totally calms me down. So I've already was practicing that. So bringing it into meditation was easy for me when I first got started. I've done guided meditations uh, with apps, you know, and I've done music. Some people like to do like repetitive words, like one word or parts of a verse or something um, that that's important to them or means something to them. Or just like I said, be still, be still, be quiet, sit there and pray and just be still. Um, sometimes it's really that simple and we complicate it for sure. So thanks for the questions, guys. Keep sending them in. I'll keep um, answering them. Now, um, I had a few days I didn't, but I'm sorry we had something come to our home and our family and it was called homecoming. Oh my gosh. Took four days of my life. It was insane. Uh, but it's over and they had a great time. We have great memories, but I had no idea that uh, with my first daughter going in, I have an older son and two little guys, what was involved. So now I'm back and I have time to do this and I'm gonna take you now into the garden. So I'm gonna turn off my car and we are going into the garden. So I don't know if I'll be able to talk in there. It's like pretty quiet.
So this is um, Encinitas. So this is the self-realization center of Encinitas that you see over here with the gold and over there. And while my spiritual beliefs do not align with theirs, I find um, the garden a beautiful place to come and pray and meditate. It's open to all uh, beliefs. entrance right here they have a huge campus like this is a plant and they have a lot of these beautiful areas that you can come and sit and meditate Lots of beautiful gardens. And this is on the water. Which we're getting to in just a minute. So this is one of my favorite um, parts of the garden. The view is going to be incredible in just a minute. turn around and I'll take you to the koi ponds, which are really pretty. Me. It's a hummingbird. 